Well, ahoy there, cruisers, and welcome on board Royal Caribbean's biggest ship and newest ship in the world, Icon of the Seas. We're going to be taking a look around lots of different cabins today, including one that's proving to be very controversial. We'll be looking at everything from a tiny inside cabin all the way up to the mega ultimate family townhouse that costs a whopping $80,000 a week. So let's take a look at an inside cabin. Now these are usually the cheapest type of cabin on a cruise and it's essentially a room without a window. This one's actually quite a nice shape, it's more of a square shape. You've got a tiny little bed here, a little poof as well so you can put your feet on, you can use that as an extra stool. Again you've got this pull out uh, little desk that can be moved around the room, good for your laptop or anything like that. Again, really bright. The big lights along the side make this room feel really, really bright. Uh, hooks against the door. And uh, this is the bathroom, is it? Yep, yeah, that is the bathroom. So same size bathroom as the balcony cabins. It's all exactly the same in there. The same amount of storage. Everything about that is just the same as all the balcony cabins and the infinite balcony cabins. So you're not losing size in the bathroom. Again, all the same features with the air conditioning and the lights and the TV is all the same as well. I've got to say, for a cabin without any windows, this whole cabin looks very spacious, yeah. very bright, and I do like the layout. It's a bit funky, David. Wait till you get to the other side. It is a little bit strange, and I do like it. It gives you a lot of room. Where's, where's the wardrobe? Well, we're going to have to swap spaces, so let me... See, there's plenty of room for two people to do a little tango. See, I thought that was the wardrobe there, but that was the bathroom. Yeah, so if you... Oh, I thought this was a mirror. Okay. No. Oh my gosh. I know. I didn't expect that. Okay, so you've got a huge walk-in wardrobe space. This is nice. I like this. Here's your wardrobe. It's all open plan, so it doesn't have doors, but it is hidden. And um, yeah, you've got the same amount of wardrobe space. It's massive. Your fridge is down here. Again, that's a little empty fridge. Your safe is there. And a nice big full length mirror. And your desk and your vanity as well is in here as well. Wow. So it's a little bit compact. It is smaller than the infinite um, balcony cabins. But even the touches of the lights and this doorway, look David, around you. Make it's it just, right. It's so lovely. And you've even got a full on desk area behind you as well. You've got all those plugs again, so a multi-plug that's 120 volts, two USB, one European, and two USB-C. Now there are a few plugs scattered around the room as well, so more USB, so you're not gonna struggle with that at all. No, this cabin is perfect if you're just looking for a place to sleep and get ready. I'd say it's great for two people. Um, I think two people would be really comfortable in here. It's a nice size. Like I say, it's really bright and it is usually the cheapest cabin you can find on these ships. And especially at the moment, because this ship is really expensive. So definitely take a look at the inside cabins and just think about, are you actually gonna be spending that much time in your cabin? Is it worth the extra cost? But yeah, nice big bed there again, David. Is it comfy? Oh, sorry, yeah, it's a big bed. I keep forgetting. It's a big comfy bed. Again, the bed is the same size as the balcony cabins, so you're not losing any bed size. Big king size bed, same comfort, nice and sort of mid firm, not too soft, not too hard. Again, this can be split into two as well, so you can have this as a twin room. But I think this is a great, this is a great little inside cabin. So a spot on your side, there's a US plug and a USB-C, but is there one on the other side? Because I can't see one from looking first of all. Oh, let me have a look. Let's have a look, bear with. No, there is only power on one side. Oh, that's a bit of an omission. Boo-hoo. That sucks. So yeah, you've only got power on one side of the bed, unfortunately. Yeah, there are two random USB normal sockets down there, but none by the bed. I mean, it's not the end of the world, guys. But I have to say, very pleasantly surprised with this inside cabin. I absolutely love the layout, the little multi-room layout. It gives it a lot of space, actually. Very, very nice indeed. Again, you've got the normal television system that works like in every other cabin. But yeah, if you want to save some money, this is definitely a lovely cabin to go for. We've seen lots of inside cabins before in our career of over 100 cruises. And this one is wonderful. Very nice indeed. And next up, let's take a look around a regular ocean balcony cabin. So yeah, let's hop in and have a look at another cabin. This is an ocean view balcony, a little bit different to the infinite ones that we're gonna be having a look at just in a few minutes. They're the controversial ones. But look at these cabins, they are really nice, right? We really do like the color schemes in here. They're very comfortable, very modern, 
very bright with lots of storage all around the room and including under the bed a nice sofa area that converts into a bed a lovely desk area if you need to do some work with plenty of plug outlets there's also outlets near the beds as well which means you can charge those phones but we were very very impressed with the look of these cabins just how modern and lovely they are they are a little bit smaller than regular cabins on the older ships like the oasis class and quantum class but nothing to complain about and the bathrooms are great too lots and lots of storage a big old shower with glass windows which is amazing and there's even a little seating area as well in the shower which is really fantastic we were impressed with the amount of storage in here there's plug outlets as, as well if you need to shave or do your hair, if you need to have a hairdryer or anything like that, which are in the room as well. And there's even storage just by the toilet as well, which is great. The amenities are pretty basic with just some soap and some shower gel, but pretty much overall, these cabins are really nice, still spacious, a good TV in there as well with a few channels, and quite a spacious balcony as well. We love all of the colourful furniture, it looks fantastic, so overall, we really think these cabins are quite great. Next up we have a Surfside family balcony, now these are basically exactly the same as the previous balcony, but instead of having a view of the ocean, you literally have a view of Surfside. Now if you do look to the left you can still see the sea, so these still are really sea views and they do cost a little bit less than booking an ocean view balcony, so if you are on a budget this might be a really good idea if you still want a balcony, because basically everything in the cabin is just exactly the same really nice and colorful the exact same bathrooms as well with all of the same storage all of the same amenities there's plenty of storage in these cabins like we said so that's a really good thing Let's have a look at one of the cabins that I've most been looking forward to on Icon of the Seas. It's the Infinite Balcony Cabins. Now, these are a little bit controversial. You'll see why in a second. But first things first, let's have a look around this cabin. First impression is I absolutely love how bright this is. I actually may like this decor better than the cabin that we have. I think this is much brighter, much airier, and it just looks really nice lovely big light as soon as you come in. I've not seen this on a cruise line before and it really makes it a big difference because it feels really bright and airy. Let's have a look in the bathroom. So this is a standard cruise bathroom. Small, it's compact, but one thing that I really like actually is it's got lots and lots of storage. There's some big shelves down the back next to the toilet. There is some shelves under the sink as well. The sink isn't the biggest sink I've seen, I think it'll do the job, but it's nice and bright. It's got lights along the mirror, so nice and bright there. And for a standard room, that shower is quite roomy. And a nice little feature is it's got a little seat as well, so you can sit in the shower if you need to shave your legs or anything like that. So I like the bathroom. Just next to that is the control panel, where you can control the lights, the air conditioning, and the blind as well. It's also got some modes on there, so you can choose a morning mode for brighter lights. There's a movie mode, an evening mode, and a sleep mode as well. That's pretty cool, it's very fancy. So we're going to the main part of the cabin. So we've got some hooks here, nice and handy. Now, we've been told about this. We wouldn't have known about this if we were not told by another passenger. This isn't just a full length mirror because actually inside of it, there's some more storage. I mean, I don't know what you're gonna get on these shelves. They're not the biggest, but it's nice and handy to have. There is a teeny tiny safe in there as well. It'll get your valuables in there. You're not gonna get a laptop or an iPad or anything like that in there. Okay, now, Coming into the main part of the cabin, these are smaller than the previous Royal Caribbean cabins, but I still think they're a great size. I'd say they're about the same size as most other cruise lines, but they are definitely smaller than the Quantum and the Oasis class. Uh, you've got a small table here that can be pulled around, so that's handy. You could pull that over to the sofa, use that for your laptop or over to the bed or anything. Um, and then you do have a desk. I think this is a nice big desk size. It's actually angled as well, so it feels a little bit bigger when you walk in. It gives you a tiny bit more floor space because they do feel thinner than the other cabins, like I said, on the previous ships. Lots of drawers here though. You've got lots and lots of drawers, some deep ones here. Also a mini fridge is under here, which is empty, so you can pop your own drinks in there. 
Now let's look at the all important chargers. So we have a US um, outlet, or is that a multi outlet actually? That's 120 volts, two USB, one European, and two USB C. So lots and lots of charging points at the desk, and a nice big mirror as well. Now let's have a look at the wardrobe space because it does feel like there is less space than there was on the previous cabins. Oh, they're huge. I was going to say it, but you'd have one huge wardrobe rather than two smaller ones that you had on the Quantum and Oasis class. I've heard a couple of people love these big baskets. Some people absolutely hate them. What do you think? Do you like them or not? I quite like them because you can throw your socks and unders in there. But, but some people don't like the fact that they're on show all the time. But Nice, big, deep wardrobe space. You've got a full length one here and a half length one there. Storage in here, superb, and I love this cabin. Beautiful. Yeah, I love the artwork. Nice, big sofa. This is a sofa bed as well, so this would convert into a sofa bed on a night. And then let's switch around and have a look at the other side and that infinite balcony. So, huge, big double bed. We've also got a nice big TV. It's got all the same stuff on that we've had on previously. You can actually stream from your phone now. That's an update, which is really cool a couple of live TV channels. The on-demand you've still got to pay for, but like I say, you can stream. You've also got some shelves down the side again, more storage with two cheeky little USBs down the side there. That's nice, more uh, charging points. Let's come around. So next to the beds, we've got a USB on each side. Hallelujah, Ben. Yay, it's so good. Only one side has a US outlet. So if you do need a CPAP machine or any medical equipment, you have got a proper power outlet on the one side. So let's talk about the bed. You've got a nice big, I think this is a king size bed. This is your pretty standard Royal Caribbean bed. Nice, comfortable, mid firmness. They're not too hard, not too soft. We've always loved the beds on Royal. And these split into twins if you'd like it that way and you've got a nice little side cabinet on each side with yeah. not too much storage but it's enough to put medication and a drink on there and stuff. Yeah, again, all your stuff's going to be on show. Some people don't mind that, some people don't like that, but it doesn't bother us. And I've just noticed the lights are slightly different on each side. I didn't notice that before, very strange. Now, let's take a look at the infinite balcony. The little bit of contentious thing that is in this cabin because some people love it and some people hate it. Oh, so we're just about to head out and I keep losing my wallet. Does anybody else do this, have a complete butter brain and leave things all over the place? Well, that's where this week's sponsor come in because this video is sponsored by Extra Wallets. So the Extra Wallets are great because they have a tracking feature, meaning you can use the app to find your wallet and it plays a cool little sound so you'll be able to hear it wherever you've left it in your cabin, in your home or in your bag. Found it! The wallet's tracker is solar powered and it just slips into the back of your wallet so you'll never lose it again. The great thing about these wallets is they are super small and super sleek. They're not big and bulky so they don't take up loads of space in your bag or in your pocket. Plus, they're RFID protected, meaning that they protect your cards while you're on the go. At the tap of a button, you can access all your cards as quick as you can say another margarita, please. It also comes in a range of materials, including eco-friendly Italian vegan leather, aluminium and carbon fiber. It also makes a great Valentine's gift for that special someone. Or yourself, we won't judge. Plus, the best thing is, you can use our code Ben and David to receive 25% off your extra wallet. So click the link in the description section below to get your own extra wallet today. So this is your balcony space, and I'm gonna use air quotes, balcony space on this cabin. It's actually a part of your cabin. But the first thing I love is the furniture. It looks really nice, bright and comfortable. The nice big windows because you get some fantastic light in here. This does really feel nice and bright. It's just a huge, huge space as well, David. It does let a lot of light in, which is fantastic. You've got curtains as well, so you can actually close these, which is good, which might keep some of the heat out because this is one of the big issues, isn't it, about opening these windows? Yes, yeah, so the problem with these balconies, in our opinion, is that uh, as soon as you open these windows, they're controlled by the side is that it just lets all that hot air in your room. So your whole room becomes basically an outdoor space and a balcony. So on a hot, humid day, it gets very, very hot in here. Also from personal opinion on these, is I like to sit outside on a night and read a book on the balcony. Ben likes to sit inside in the nice air conditioning. 
And the problem with these is you can't do that at the same time, so you've either got to have them open or closed. However, as soon as you open this, the AC does turn off. So as soon as you open this window, you can hear it click off, can't you? Yeah, the AC turns off completely. I mean, it is a beautiful view, guys. I mean, just look at that. It's full floor to window, un uninterrupted view. So when you walk into this cabin, it's incredibly impressive. And you can also control the blinds as well, can't you, David? Yeah, so they're controlled. And the great thing about these is they are blackout blinds. So it does make the room completely pitch black on a night, which is great. So what can I say guys, these cabins are beautiful. We absolutely love the design that Royal Caribbean have done here. I love the yellow highlights, they're just so bright and colourful. Really, really nice. The infinite balconies, certainly not for some, but we do appreciate that they've got curtains, which is really good. Something we didn't have on our celebrity cruise. And it is really nice just to have that beautiful, beautiful, huge picturesque view of your whole cabin. It does feel very spacious in here. Like we said, they are a little bit smaller. Don't worry about that because you can't really tell with this new style balcony. A big thumbs up from me. I really do like these cabins. Royal have done a great job. These are fantastic. Let us know in the comment section below what you think about the infinite balconies. On our cruise, lots of people liked them, but lots of people really didn't. They didn't like the fact that the heat was let into the cabin, so they proved to be quite controversial. Let us know in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. And whilst you're there, hit that subscribe. Another brand new type of cabin here on Icon of the Seas is the Family Infinite Balcony. So this is another of the Infinite Balconies, but it's a little bit more spacious and made for families. It's actually a really cool cabin. The main part of the cabin is basically exactly the same to those Infinite Cabins. Maybe just a slight bit, bit bigger. A nice big bed again, a lovely sofa area, and then you've got that Infinite Balcony area. I mean, some people still don't like these cabins, but we think they are quite nice. They are just so bright, which is lovely. And we just love the new color scheme. I know we keep saying it, but we do really like the look of these cabins. Now, here's where it gets a little bit different. On the left-hand side, you've got a chalkboard, and then you come into a kind of a different bedroom area, which is great for kids. So you've got a set of bunk beds, and each of those have their own TV, so it's gonna keep them occupied. So it's like having a two-bedroomed cabin, really, which is really great. Now, another great feature of these rooms are the split bathrooms, very much similar to Disney Cruise Line. So you've got a separate shower room with a sink, which is really good, still really spacious and we're loving the glass doors in the shower no shower curtains here and then you've got a separate little toilet room which has another sink as well really good lovely and spacious and really good for a family of four we really like these cabins guys they are quite impressive they are a little bit more expensive than a regular cabin so do keep an eye on that as well anyway next up we've got the surfside family suite we're going to give you a quick look around this cabin again this is a family room it has that little bedroom there then a little extra nook with a small bed this is made for smaller kids guys because it is very small fun fact this is a sky class cabin so you actually get access to things like coastal kitchen and all of the suite areas and suite priorities again there's two tvs in the cabin a big one near the bed and a small one in the kids little area but we really do love the look of these cabins they're very very classy indeed and the fact that you get those suite benefits is fantastic as you can see, plenty of room in the cabin. You've got the desk area as well as a coffee machine. And what's great about these cabins again is the split bathroom. So again, there's a separate little shower room with a sink and a toilet with a sink as well. But take a look at our future video because there is some problems with this type of cabin and we'll go into more detail about that later on. We're loving all of the tiles and the marble effect as well. It does look a little bit more classy and a little bit more upscale. But yeah, these are great cabins. They'll also be found in the surf side area as well. So this is the only place you can find those cabins. Don't worry though, because they are not noisy when the windows and doors are closed. We didn't hear a thing in these cabins, which is great. So next up, we have another brand new type of suite, the Sunset Corner Suite. Now again, this is in the Sky Class. 
you get full access to all of those sweet Oni areas. And we're going to be showing you all of them in a future video. So do stay subscribed. Wow, what a suite. I really, really like this one. They are a corner suite towards the back of the ship, so you get some great wake views. But they are really, really spacious. Nice big bed, which separates into twins again. Plugs and sockets all around the room. And we just love the little seating area here with the TV. And you've got the sofa as well, which does convert into a bed. It sleeps a maximum of four people. A nice little chair seating area as well, but really, really nice cabins. We love the decor in here. And I love all of the wood details as well. They are really, really fantastic. Such lovely cabins. Obviously, you're going to have a huge wraparound balcony as well. And then you've got the bathroom as well with those fancy tiles. You've got a tub, a shower, a sink. And it's a really lovely large space. Very impressed with these cabins. I would love to stay in one of these ones. Now we also had a quick peek at a panoramic suite. This is a very big cabin. Also a sky class cabin as well. So you get all of the suite benefit areas, but with fantastic, huge panoramic windows located near the Aquadome. But yeah, very lovely. And the bathrooms were lovely as well really really spacious you've got a lovely tub and things as well next up we have the icon loft suite this is a dual level duplex suite treat yourself it's really lovely a lovely little dining area there as well you've also got a seat now we did find these cabins a little bit smaller than on the oasis class ships they are a bit wider but not quite as long but the bathrooms are really nice as well. So you've got a bathroom downstairs and upstairs and you've got all of those lovely tiles that we keep seeing in all of the suites. But that shower is blooming huge. A really nice cabin, guys. Obviously going to cost an absolute fortune to stay here. You're going to have to take out a second mortgage because they are very, very expensive. And one of the great things, you've got those stairs up to the second level, which we just love. Really wish we could afford to stay in a cabin like this, guys, because they do look really amazing. This is where the bedroom area is. You've got the TV up here as well and a little dressing area too. Plenty of plug sockets all around and sockets near the bed to charge your phone as well. But look at the size of that balcony and those windows. It looks fabulous. And of course, it's all at a touch of a button. The curtains and the shades open automatically and close automatically when you press that button. So there's no having to pull things across. Just great. A really spacious cabin still. And there's that balcony area. It's absolutely lovely. Plenty of space to lounge and chill about. Oh, here's the big one, guys. We're going to go look around the ultimate family townhouse. This one's going to be blooming crazy. So here's the big one, the ultimate family townhouse suite over three different decks on decks seven, eight and nine at the back of the ship. Now, it has that slide, but guys, I really don't think it looks that impressive for $80,000 per week. You can sometimes get it cheaper than that, but that's what it goes up to. And to me, it looks a bit bright and garish. You've got a little cinema room here with a few seats and a little kitchen area and another random tv in the back for some reason but yeah to me it looks a bit sparse and very childlike i mean kids would love it but there's a bedroom upstairs with another bathroom and a little landing here overlooking the rest of the cabin and then you've got that slide as well which is fun the first time you do it but then it's going to get very quickly boring after a few times I know I'm having a bit of a moan here, guys, but $80,000 for a kid's cabin is obscene to me. You've got some comfortable seating, you've got some nice decorations around, but yeah, very bright. You've also got bunk beds, four different bunk beds with four TVs on every single one. Just complete overkill for me. And a little outdoor area that has access to Surfside with some little games and things. Most surprisingly, this cabin sold out for basically the whole season. So what do you think of 
all these cabins, which one would you pick on your next cruise? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like this video and you want to see more from us, please hit that subscribe button. That means a lot to us and give it a big thumbs up as well. A big thank you to our patrons. Your support is awesome. If you'd like to join us on Patreon, you can click the link in the description section below. In return for your support, you receive extra benefits like advert free videos, behind the scenes videos and a monthly Zoom chat. That's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising! cruising.